time seven months left. You guys looking real crusty, but I mean, this is just the reality of it, okay? Like, there's lots to update you guys on. Is there? Is there lots to update you guys on? There's a little bit to update you guys. So, I washed my hair well, like three or four days ago. So it's like so pretty clean. It feels alright. I think I might need to spray it down a little. It's a little stiff since it's been in that bun. What I've noticed this month is that, um, as I show you, that my locks have some weight to them. Like, I don't think there's any more condensing they could really do at this point, to be honest with you. Um, so like when I, after I wash my hair, I noticed that, um, my locks just kind of like, you know, they're wet. And before, they kind of, they just didn't have as much weight to them as they do now. That's pretty much what I'm trying to say. So. Very compact. And, um. They do got some, they're not heavy obviously, but they do have weight, like it's not like loose hair, like obviously. This still doesn't do anything, but this is like, it just, you know? You guys know what I'm playing? I know you know, you guys know what I'm playing. But a little vlog jewelry still, you know, doing its thing. Off the pimple, and off the scar, so that's always great. Rat tail, I should my rat tail. Rat tail is thriving, I need to rebraid it because it's like a lot of new growth right there. It's getting long, and I like that I did this little old to my loose natural hair because it's lit, and I could like keep track of it. I wish I could show you, but oh, I just can't. I just can't. <laughs> that's it. And what was gonna say? I'm still really happy with my progress. Um, Deep cleaning with Dawn like once or twice a month to avoid build up. It's very drying, so I try not to do it that often, but like it depends on like say I do do use it like once a month, but say like I didn't wash my hair for like over a week and I just feel like it's like super greasy and like I just need a good deep clean, then I'll use it. Um if it calls for it like twice a month or something or just when I feel like it but usually a good regular shampoo like Pantene or um, Suave the clarifying shampoo gets the job done pretty well um, but like I said Dawn is just like a deeper clean so lumpage well, I got lumpy lock okay it looks like they're here to stay and I'm here for it so you know I'm happy about that there's not really much to update you on but honestly, I wasn't going to make this 7 month vlog video because, like I said, there's not really much to update you guys on. What can I do to avoid getting the bitten by mosquitoes? I do not palm roll. I don't do anything. All I do is interlock and comb out my curly ends. Ooh. Okay, so you guys remember. Oh, oh, oh. Circle lock. I've got to show you Mr. Circle. Circle lock is tapping, thick as shit, and then I gotta show you his. Anyway, hey, so circle lock is popping, thick as shit, and then you got this other thick one, which is his. What do you want to call this? His baby mama, his wifey. So um, looks like it's a little thin at the ends right there. So you might just dust like that little tip off. This one too. This looks like it's dead, so I might just cut that. Oh, let me show you Larry. If I could find him. Um, where's Larry? You're not Larry. This is an imposter. This isn't Larry. Hmm. Where are you, Larry? You know how that goes when you're looking for a log and you just can't find the log. Are you Larry? This is Larry. I found you, Larry. Anyways, Larry has a fat ass, as you can see. He is thicker than a snicker. 
at the bottom. This bone. So he's doing fine. I love this bone too. Um, I like the circle a lot because it's thick. But now I feel like the circle lock is not as special because, you know, I didn't realize that another. But the circle lock is still way thicker than his BM, so. I actually wanted to film because I want to talk about coloring your locks. Let me tell you. Let me, let me specify, first of all. It's not like coloring your locks, like, not all colors, but I feel like bleaching your locks. Ooh, wait. Don't do it, honey. Don't do it. As you guys know, I bleached my locks. If you've seen that video, you know I, I done fucked up. And I know I fucked up. But it's okay. I knew, that, I knew what I was getting myself into. And I knew that it was not going to be good for these three locks over here that had color. But I was just trying to get an even color all throughout. And trying to touch up the new girl. And uh, long story short, I had to comb out those locks. Because I just started to feel like... Having locks is not that much maintenance. It's not as much maintenance as loose natural hair, okay? It's still maintenance, but it's not as much maintenance as loose natural hair. So let's just clear that up real quick. So, what I've been noticing though is that... What I'm noticing though is that um, my colored locks, the three that were here, they started just feeling like way too much maintenance for me, bruh. First of all, it felt like shit. It felt so dry. It just felt like, it felt like tumbleweed. It felt like ramen crunchy ass noodles. It just felt like, why are these locks feeling like this? Oh, I, I know why, obviously, because I fucked up my hair. I get it. But it's just like, why? Do I have to keep dealing with this? So what I would have to do, I can't every morning, I have to spray it with water, and you know, because it's high porosity, it absorbs everything really quick, but then guess what? It also releases everything real quick, because it's just like the freaking, what's it called? The hair cuticles are like so lifted, so when everything goes in, everything goes out, and it's just like, you know, it's not holding moisture for long. So after I would moisturize my hair, like an hour or two go by, and then it goes back to feeling like, a freaking dry ass rope from 1800s that is just like wanting to just that's how i can imagine it just i feel like if you would just touch my lock really rough or something it would just go and you'll see all those strands like hey felt like hey 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 that's what it was okay, so long story short i combed out those three locks i did not want to comb out those three locks but it was just getting to the point where i was like i'm gonna have to cut this off and just have like a little patch of just hair growing until it's long enough to cut to like lock so i just combed it out and i was like here's my logic time behind combing out those three locks i was like if the hair is damaged and this like obviously you hold your shed hair in locks i'm like that hair is making my hair feel like shit even more because it's not not only is it shed hair but it's damaged hair and it's just sitting in the lock so i was like hmm if i comb that out and relock my hair and just let it grow maybe it'll feel better maybe be less maintenance and then over time i'll just cut off the color that was my logic, so I ended up just combing out my lock. So I'll show you what it looked like. The first lock I combed out, I didn't save the hair, and I was like, oh shit, I should make a YouTube video. So this was the first lock, or the second lock that I combed out. This is probably shed hair. This is seven, over seven months of shed hair. So third lock, the last lock. As you can see, one is brighter than the other because uh, that's what I was trying to fix when I kept dyeing my hair, is because like, Two of the locks were brighter and one of them were darker, so I had to keep re-bleaching certain parts of this lock. And then the bottom of this lock was dark compared to the... Yeah, it was a mess. You got, if you watch the video, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so when I combed out my lock, I'm surprised more hair didn't come out. I'm surprised like I still had hair like, holding on over here. But, <clears throat> so it was... My hair was pretty long. It was like, like right here or whatever. But all this was just so fried and just thin. It just looked like... No. So I cut it and then I combed out everything. I conditioned it, I moisturized it, I like let it out for a little bit. And then um, I realized that this part of my hair doesn't feel bad. Like although it's colored multiple times, I feel like I got rid of most of the damage and this part feels like healthier compared to the part that I cut off. These are the locks. There was three locks here initially, but I didn't like how they looked when they like really condensed. Like it was just too tiny, like they were probably the tiniest locks compared to like my whole head and I'm like you know what instead of three I'll just make it two so that way it's more shady how I'm going to crochet my new starter locks on the side of my head 
So I washed everything on my hair because like I had product and stuff in it. Um, so I washed that out. I got this crochet hook. See that right there? What size is this? Uh, it's 0.75 millimeters. I'm just going to crochet some locks into this. I mean, I probably could interlock too. I think I'm gonna do both. I'm probably gonna interlock. I'm gonna start with crocheting like I'm doing now. So pretty much what I'm doing, I'm just taking this thing and I'm just just, just rubbing it back and forth through my strands until it creates something. Okay, so crocheted it for a bit. I mean, it doesn't really look like much, but there is a knot right here in the middle. I don't know. If you can see that. So I'm also gonna um, interlock as well. Okay, I'm probably going to need my tool to get closer to the scalp. I'm going to take this little handy dandy tool here, interlocking tool, and do that. Um, I don't know how people bleach their whole head um, with locks. I mean, obviously, I know that I forced it with how many times I bleached my hair, but still, I just feel like having bleach locks, it's like one thing if you're going to color your hair black because it's like you're not stripping your hair of anything, you're adding, so it doesn't feel bad, but dinner's ready. Um, if you're going to be bleaching it and like you're bleaching it to get more vibrant, like I'm good. This is done. This is all interlocked. So now I'm going to move on with the D's real quick. See how much new growth I have though. My hair looks really dumb doing that. I think even though it's interlocked, I'm just going to do a little crochet throughout. Just so that, um, I wish I could show you guys, but I just can't really get it on camera. I finished crocheting the shaft of my lock, and um, I don't even know if you guys can see. Do you see how shitty the ends look? Like, it feels, um, this part feels a lot better than this part, but I'm just going to wait a little bit because I still need to put my hair up, and I'm not trying to deal with what I'm dealing with with my old shave side because this shit is for the birds, okay? Like every time I drive my hair up, as you can see, it's in this little shitty bun. This just doesn't make it. So it always falls out. And I'm gonna try to do it with two other locks when we do that. So I'm just gonna keep these ends like this, trim it. I probably wanna trim it like up to here when it gets a little longer. Bring some leave-in, some moisturizing, some moisturizing spray. Just to lay it down a little. Also to get it frizzy. So to start the blocking process. This is it. This is what it's looking like. You can see that. Like it's still curly, but it feels like shit when it's like bone dry with nothing in it. Compared to my black hair, my black hair feels good when it's stripped with no product. Like after a wash. And it feels good, even it feels even better when there's moisturizing. Um, leave-in and stuff in it, but this, it feels horrible, whatever you do to it, it feels horrible. Right now, it doesn't feel as bad for now, but that's going to change in like 10 minutes while it's just going to just dry up. So, yeah, that's my, uh, seven month vlog update, kind of, sort of. I mean, I really came on here for this, but it turned into a lot of things. Okay, so it's been like, like what, 10 minutes or 15 minutes? And um, look, my hair is already starting to shrink and form a little, what do you want to call them, buds? Like, they just are making wounds. 
So that's how well ready my hair is. And on top of that, it's dyed and dry, so it's like ready to just mat up on itself. So yeah, I just want to come on here and show you guys real quick so you can see how fast it's already starting to look all frizzy and shit. So yeah, I think this 